where the national security advisor says troops, especially those in areas lacking access to network, are suffering some hardship collecting their stipends. He spoke at a meeting with the Adoc Committee of the House of Representatives on CBN's narrow redesign policy. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adesa reports. The Haddock Committee of the House on the latest CBN's cashless policy is actively working to clear naughty issues, even at this time of political campaigns, barely two days after INEC cried foul over inaccessibility to cash and the likely threat to the forthcoming polls, the committee is seeking a formal brief from the commission. It also desires to know government's effort at addressing INEC's fears. The position of the committee has not changed, even with the interface we had with the NSA, that the policy is unpopular, that the policy was untimely, the policy did not take the benefit of wider consultations. This explains its invitations to INEC, the Minister of Finance and the Nigeria Security Printing and Minting Company, as well as the National Security Advisor. But at this sitting, only the National Security Advisor was represented. The committee says the finance minister and the minting and printing company have requested to be heard on Friday, but it is silent on INEC's absence. For the agencies we invited, even though we have taken their apologies for not coming either yesterday or today, apparently because of the gaps in communications, and that does not give it to them that the House will take it lightly if for any reason any other person fails to come to appear before this committee tomorrow. The National Security Advisor acknowledges CBN's reasons for redesigning the Naira, but says his men are feeling the heat, particularly in areas where there is no technology. Such policies, if not well properly thought out, would affect some certain, because um, some of our soldiers are deployed in places where they cannot actually, you know, access um, um, digital means of being. Um, um, whatever, whatever their daily subsistence. The meeting, which continued behind closed doors, lasted some 30 minutes. We have interfaced with the office of the NSA. With regards to the mandate of the committee, and uh, like I said, we took in confidence some of the responses he gave, which of course will be very useful to the committee and definitely will guide the committee when we come to come up with our reports. The finance minister and other heads of agencies that have been invited have a date with the Haddock Committee on Friday in continuation of its assignment and execution of its mandate. Choke TVC News, Abuja.